Hi guys, so uh, here I'm going to be unboxing the Horizon Apprentice S15E airplane. Here you can see it with the box. And so let's get this started. Right, so here you can see the main body, the remote, the wings, um, instructions, and uh, batteries and all the wires and all that extra stuff. This is the main body. Here are the wings with the flaps. Here's the second wing. And I believe this is the horizontal elevator and the horizontal stabilizer which you put onto the main frame. So here's the main frame, the propellers, the wiring. This will attach to the horizontal elevator, which I showed before. Alright, so now we'll take a look inside of this compartment here. The batteries over here to, with connected to the switch. Here are the motors to control the elevator. And over here you can see is a receiver with switches inside of it with extra wiring on the outside. Here are the wheels for the main aircraft and here's the transmitter which has all of the controls here is the battery uh, charger for the aircraft so step number one landing gear installation so you take off this spinner first and then using a size 10 wrench take off the nut Once you have the nut off, you take off this protective gear and the washer with, with the propeller. Next up, we have to unscrew the cowling or the front cover. Now that you have the screws off, you can take off the cowling or front cover and begin the installation of the strut. So make sure you have the flat side facing the front and insert it into the hole and into the steering wheel and push. Push it until you are able to see it on the bottom over there. Now let's tighten the screw. So now let's put everything back. With the final touches, now everything is back in place. All right, so now let's insert the main landing gear struts into this small portion over here. And you do this by pushing the two wheels together while inserting, and there you go. So the landing gear installation is completed, and here's how it looks. Next step is tail installation. So the first step to do here is take the horizontal tail with the horizontal elevator and insert it underneath these two, above these two holes over here. Next, you take the vertical tail and you insert the pins through the holes of the horizontal. So let's tighten the screws on the bottom of the plane underneath the horizontal uh, stabilizer. So the next step is to connect the clevises to the elevator and rudder. The one over here will connect to the rudder and will control the rudder. The one on this side will connect to the elevator and control the pitch. So now we will connect this to the most outermost hole over here. So move the rubber outer layer to the end. So apply the longer tape on this side and the smaller tape on the other side, over here. After the tape has been applied, we're going to connect both wings together through the, wood, the pole. And make sure they are correctly aligned. Using the double tape on both the rear and front wing covers, we will be applying them onto the wings, such as this. So now it's time to connect the aileron servo connectors to the Y harnesses. Also make sure you send the battery wires to the other side or the bottom. 
After connecting the aileron servo connectors, don't forget to install the blind plug and take off this paper. And then put the bind plug in the designated area. Now attach the battery to the plane. And then connecting the straps. Close the battery cover and secure it over here. Insert the batteries. Test the motors. So turn on the aircraft. After holding the bind or trainer button on the back while turning the transmitter on, you will hear three ascending notes and the light turns solid. This means you can now take out the bind plug from the aircraft. Test the motors. So turn on the aircraft and begin, okay, begin moving the appropriate sticks. So these move the ailerons and influence roll. This will influence the rudder, which is the yaw. And lastly, the elevator, which controls pitch. So for the last step, turn off the aircraft and attach the wings permanently. Attach these eight rubber bands in different angles to secure the wing. So now that the rubber bands are all attached, this is how the final version looks. So as a safety feature of this aircraft, you will not be able to move the propeller until you arm the motor and then you can move the propeller using this joystick. And this is because somebody can get easily injured just by a slight flick of this joystick.